Right now, two shots fired incidents this weekend, bringing the monthly total to six. What police and neighbors have to say. Also missing one of their stars, the Bucks try to overcome injury and stay ahead of their playoff series with the Bulls. And we're going to be entering a dry stretch, but how long is that going to last? But we'll take a look coming up. Good Monday morning, everybody. Welcome to News 3 Now This Morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Leah Lynchide. And I'm Chris Stanford. Developing here in Madison this morning, police are investigating two shots fired incidents from over the weekend. The two separate incidents happened just a little over two hours apart from one another. Calls from a pair of tips say as many as 25 rounds were fired Saturday night. The first happened on Madison's south side just after 10 p.m. on Bram Street after a caller reported hearing 10 shots fired. Then a little later, just after midnight, over on the mat on the city's far east side, another caller reporting hearing up to 15 shots fired on Congress Avenue just off of High Crossing Boulevard. Yesterday, we spoke with someone from the south side. He says he wasn't surprised to learn about the shooting, but he's still worried about neighborhood safety. You're endangering the public. There's too many times where little kids get shot while sitting in their bedroom playing. That's not right. Madison police are investigating a total of six shots fired reports this month. Officers have not reported finding any shell casings at either of the two locations from this weekend. They're asking anyone with information to contact their non-emergency line or the Madison area Crime Stoppers. Now, if any more information comes out about these shootings, you can be the first to know. We will push updates in real time through our mobile app. You can download it today in your app store. Breaking overnight in Milwaukee, a 13-year-old girl is dead after a triple shooting on the city's South side. It happened around 930. Two others were also shot. Another girl, this one was 10 years old, and an 18-year-old man. Both of those people are expected to survive. The reasoning behind the shooting is still being investigated. If you have any information, please call Milwaukee Police. A traffic note starting today, right after our show, the intersection of Odana Road and Deer Holt will be closed for construction. This is a couple blocks east of the High V. The closure is needed to connect some new sanitary and storm sewer utilities. It's expected to stay closed for a little more than a week. It'll reopen on May 3rd, next Tuesday. Okay, 602, let's switch gears. Turn it over to Julian C. Wright with your first worn weather, your certified most accurate. Hi, Julian. And we are looking at one of my favorite parts of working the morning shift is that now we're starting to get a little bit of a sunrise here. Even though it's like 1% of our sky cover as of right now, still, it is a pretty beautiful start to our morning. Even though clouds are going to be dominating the skies throughout much of our morning and even throughout the rest of today. As of right now here in Madison, it's 44 degrees for us. Winds are on the calm side as well. Even though for some areas, we're still looking at some breezy winds kicking off this morning. A bit cooler over to our friends into the west. Even though we're into the lower and middle 40s throughout much of southern Wisconsin, there are some areas that are still into the middle and upper 30s, especially near Viroqua and the La Crosse areas. We're kicking off our Monday morning. But as I mentioned, wind speeds between Lone Rock, Mineral Points, and even for Platteville, we're looking at the middle double digits as we're kicking off this morning. Even though it's in the single digits for Madison and for Janesville, we're going to start to see those wind speeds increasing as we continue throughout the day. And the upper Midwest in itself is going to be looking at cold, chilly, breezy, and windy conditions for us. As this low pressure moves itself out, we are going to be seeing this long trough, which is going to be holding on to the colder air for us as we continue throughout the next couple of days. And on top of that, which is why we're also going to be seeing a bit more of those cloudy conditions that are just not going to be breaking throughout much of our Monday. As we get into Monday evening, we see the wind speeds start to increase just a bit, so it's going to be on the breezier side as you're making your 5 p.m. commute. But then as we go into tonight, the cloud cover will start to decrease. Going into Tuesday, we're looking at mostly sunny skies, but our Tuesday morning is definitely going to be chilly as we're looking below freezing to kick off our Tuesday morning. And we'll start to see improvements heading into our Tuesday afternoon and evening in terms of our surface temperatures back to the middle 40s. Now, as we take a look at those wind gusts, though, we're going to see those really increase into the middle and upper 20s as we get into the later part of this afternoon, especially going into this evening as well. But the one thing we are going to also keep an eye on is going to be our precipitation chances, because as you noted, we are looking at a dry stretch throughout the next few days, but that looks to change as we get into our late Wednesday nights transitioning into the back end of the work week. Temperatures themselves will also improve as we're going to see 50s back in the forecast, but heading into this weekend, well, don't have too many plans outside because we are looking at a forecast that was going to be bringing us not just showers, but even some potential thunderstorms throughout our Saturday and Sunday. We'll have more coming up in a few, but guys, this weekend, <laughs> 
it's not going to be as dry or nice as it was this one. Yeah, quite a stretch of active weather there, huh? Yeah, absolutely. But we do need it because May's right around the corner. And you know what they say, April showers brings... May flowers! There you go. <laughs> Julian, thank you very much. All right, bust out your lab coats, folks. Bill Nye, the science guy, is coming to the Cole Center tonight. Nye will host a free talk and Q&A focusing on climate change and sustainability. It's hosted by the Wisconsin Union. Anyone can register for free tickets, but the event will also be live streamed. We have all of those links available over on channel3000.com. The Bucks are now just one win away from the second round of the NBA playoffs. Milwaukee beat the Bulls in Chicago this weekend. Without Chris Middleton, the Bucks look into their bench, including Grayson Allen, to replace those points. Allen helped shift the momentum in Sunday's game, scoring 16 and hitting four triples just in the first half. He'd finished with 27. Then Giannis Antetokounmpo taking over after the half, finishing with a game-high 32 points, 17 boards. Now with just one more win to go, Giannis hopes his team's level of play continues on Wednesday. From game three to game four, it's just some good habits, um, just defending as a team and just keeping everybody accountable. People uh, making the stuff as possible, taking that individual pride to keep the guys in front of them. Um, you know, having that mentality to take possession at a time and know that each basket counts. We did it in game three, we did it in game four, hopefully we can do it in game five. Bucks again, just need one more win to close the door on the Bulls. Now, their second round opponent uh, still be determined here. That could be the Boston Celtics or the Brooklyn Nets. Celtics currently lead that series three to nothing. Game five for Milwaukee is Wednesday night. Time has yet to be determined. The Brewers wrapping up a weekend series against the Phillies last night, and it was quite the pitching matchup. The Crews' Eric Lauer gave the team six innings and had a career-high 13 strikeouts. Meanwhile, the Phillies pitching only gave up one hit before the ninth when they gave up the only run, run of the game off a Yelich sack fly. Brewers win 1-0. to The crew now comes home for a single game with the Giants. 606 Now, supporting local business owners has become a priority for many Madisonians as the pandemic continues to affect their financial stability. That's why here in Madison, the Progress Center for Black Women launched its inaugural Focus Program. In their co-working space in the Capitol Square yesterday, 13 hopeful entrepreneurs took their first critical steps towards starting their own business. Here's our Tamia Folks reporting. I wanted to be able to provide something to others that may go through that same thing. In a room packed with donors, local business leaders, and community advocates, black entrepreneurs from throughout the city presented their business pitches. From clothing lines to beauty brands to wellness centers, each came with the hope to secure one of three grants for the Focus Pitch Competition. The Focus Business Incubator aims to focus special attention on Dane County's black entrepreneurs. The biggest thing is I want them to know that the, the resources that are here in the community, they are their resources too. The acronym FOCUS stands for Fundamentals, Opportunities, Consistency, Understanding, and Success all of which can help entrepreneurs effectively run their businesses. At the end of the day, this is also an opportunity for the entrepreneurs to sort of like test their ability to be confident when talking about their business. Today's event was just one piece of a 12-week program. Starting in June, the Focus Incubator will offer a standalone training in marketing, professional development, and mentorship to business owners in the area. That was Tamia Folks reporting. Anyone interested in supporting the Focus program through mentorship and partnership opportunities should visit the Progress Center's website. 608 now coming up. Consumer Reports advice on cutting down on nighttime snacking. Plus, we're in the 608 with an inside look at the Specialty Care Free Clinic ahead of their grand opening tomorrow when we come back. Stick around. At Star and Bank, we think having choices is important, so you can choose the products that are right for your life. What are you waiting for? Explore the possibilities today at StarInBank.com. I'm Rebecca, and you might know me from reality TV. And this was my stubborn body fat that I just couldn't get rid of. But then I went to Sonabello and they permanently removed my body fat in just one visit. It is so intensely gratifying for one visit to make this big of a change. It's amazing. Sonobello's board-certified surgeons use micro-laser technology to safely target and remove your diet-resistant fat cells permanently on your stomach, hips and thighs, back, 
and so much more. It feels in Incredible to look down and it's flat. Thank you again, Sonobello. I'm so happy. Schedule your free, no obligation consultation and find out how you can get $250 off instantly. Call 1-800-595-1532 or go to sonobello.com. He's turned on working families again. Ron Johnson said no to bringing new jobs to Wisconsin. Now he's supporting the Republican plan that phases out Social Security and Medicare and increases taxes on middle-class families. Time for Democrat Alex Lazary. Lazary says let's get more money into working people's pockets and cut their taxes. No wonder so many unions say Alex Lazary is the strongest Democrat to beat Ron Johnson. I'm Alex Lazary, and I approve this message. Only your locally owned Cub Cadet dealer has genuine parts, accessories, trained service technicians, and the widest selection of industry-leading Cub Cadet products. We're here for you whenever you need us, with expert service and support to keep your equipment running at peak performance for years to come. Take advantage of exceptional financing offers from your local Cub Cadet dealer today. To find the dealer near you, visit CubCadetDealers.com. We're not just massage envy. We're also facials that get your skin glowing envy. We're talking, dang girl, you look good kind of envy. All right, tell me your secret and lunch is on me. This Mother's Day, buy one 60-minute facial session and get a second session free. Massage envy facials, where better begins. Irresistibly smooth chocolate to put the world on pause. Lindor, made to melt you by the Lint Master Chocolatier. Today's the day to go farther with a partner that provides you innovative solutions for your own personal financial future. Explore the possibilities today at StarInBank.com. You're watching Madison's fastest growing newscast. News 3 Now this morning. Welcome back. We're on the 608 this morning with an inside look at a local free clinic with a new name and new location. And Josh Breider is checking it out for us this morning, giving us a sneak peek. Hey there, Josh. Hey guys, good morning. Yeah, so we're here at the Specialty Care Free Clinic, their brand new location. They're formerly known as the BSP Free Clinic. They were located on the west side, and now they're a little bit more centrally located right off of Fish Hatchery Road near Dunkin' Donuts, Firehouse Subs. And we're getting an inside look right ahead of their grand opening celebration tomorrow. Trisha Levenhagen is with us this morning. You're the clinic manager, yes. and you guys are super excited to be able to show off this yeah. bright space. Yeah, it's great. It um, provides a lot more space for our patients, um, and it's nice and bright. We're, we actually have windows now, um, so it, it, and it's new. So our, pre, our patients are really enjoying it, as are the staff and the volunteers. You know, you talk about it being a bright space, and there's a lot more room. These uh, exam rooms are fantastic, and that was uh, on purpose, right? Because you needed a little bit more space to be able to have that care for these folks. Yep, absolutely. A lot of our patients bring in a support person with them, um, and so it, you know, we we now have the space. To, to handle that. In addition, a lot of our Spanish-speaking patients need an interpreter. Um, so by the time you get the provider and possibly the nurse and the interpreter and a family member in the room with the patient, it gets a little bit crowded. So now we have the space um, to be able to, to make that happen. So we talk about free clinics. I mean, this is kind of a rarity, especially here in southern Wisconsin, to have what you guys have for these folks, right? Yep, we're the only uh, specialty care clinic in Wisconsin. So our patients get referred to us from a primary care provider. Um, and so we've got um, 30 specialties and a lot of volunteer providers who will see the patients. We will care for them from head to toe. And 18 different specialties. I mean, all these exam rooms are a little bit different. This one, obviously, the eye exam room. You know, Trisha, talk a little bit about what goes into everything that's here because you have a lot of physicians that are volunteering their time to help out, too. Yep, it's a lot of coordinating. A lot of the physicians still uh, work at a busy practice, and then we have some that are, re are retired, um, and they give up their time to come and see our patients. Um, this is our eye room. We've, we've got a lot of patients who have diabetes, and so they not only get their eyes cared for here. They also see endocrinology. Um, some of them see rheumatology. 
Um, a lot of them see podiatry as well. So diabetes is a disease that requires a lot of specialty care, um, and the patients can come here and get everything that they need. You know, you talk about the uninsured, and I mean, everyone has a story, right? But some of these, mm -hmm. some of the stories from these folks are pretty crazy mm -hmm. what they have to go through. So to be able to have something like this mm -hmm. is pretty important for the community. Absolutely. A lot of our patients have never had health care, or they've had very little health care. Um, they're hardworking. They just haven't had the opportunity to be offered medical insurance. So sometimes by the time they come to us, they have pretty severe uh, symptoms of, uh, and we diagnose all different things. Um, so it, it really is, a, it's a safe place. It's, a, it's, a, it's an amazing place where they get the care they need, the time and attention. Um, they appreciate it and they're wonderful people. Thank you so much for what you're yes, doing. Congratulations you. on this wonderful space. We've got more information up on channel3000.com. Again, they're celebrating the grand opening tomorrow. The governor's going to be in town as well. We'll talk a little bit more about that coming up here in just a little bit. And Trisha gave me a little uh, surprise this morning. I got a little sunscreen. If you haven't noticed, I'm looking like a tomato <laughs> face. I had a little bit too much sun. Got the jet ski out this past weekend. I think a lot of folks uh, were a little surprised how much sun we got. So, yes, I already got a text from my dad this morning saying that I'm fried. So, That's sunscreen, so sunscreen, sunscreen, folks. You uh, learn, it, learn it from me. Chris was going to ask you, you know, do they got anything to treat those sunburn? <laughs> hey. You know, it's the price you pay for spending all day out on the, the water on a beautiful Saturday. Oh, my gosh. Boy, uh, I'd be happy with the sunburn this morning, too, if I got to do that over the weekend. It's going to fade into a beautiful day. Hey, we haven't there, had a nice day like that in so long, right? right? All right. Josh Breider, thanks for giving <laughs> us that sneak peek. Remember to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. You can reach out to him on social media or shoot him an email for a chance to be featured. Yeah, 81 degrees on Saturday. That's what we topped out at. We're not going to see temps like that for a while, are we, Julian? No, I have to laugh because we're not. Yeah. We're waking up this morning and we're seeing 40s and that's pretty much all it's going to be for today. Not even going to see anything that's going to give you a sunburn either because it's going to be so cloudy outside throughout the entirety of our Monday. The only other thing that's really going to be happening for our whole hum forecast of today is that it's going to be breezy. We'll see 10 to 20 miles per hour winds, but really the activity is not going to start until we get into the later part of this week, and we're not going to start to see warmer temperatures into those 60s or 70s per se, but we will start to see some action of some rain potentially switching into and uh, mixing with some snow late Wednesday night into early Thursday morning. That's going to be for some very isolated areas for that chance. But then as we get into our Thursday afternoon and Thursday evening, we'll still have some shots of of looking at some rainfall, but this weekend is where we're looking at our best chance of seeing some more rain. Going into our Saturday afternoon and to our Sunday evening is where we're looking at our chances of seeing some rain and even some thunderstorms that could be bringing in another healthy amount of some rainfall for us as we are eclipsing into the first day of May. But again, our temperatures are still going to be sub below average around this time of year as we're still going to be fluctuating between the 40s and the 50s. We'll see a 60 next week, but we're supposed to be around 64 going into to our May. We're just not there just yet, guys. Couldn't have said it better myself. Julian, thank you very much. 617 now. Nighttime snacking is a vice for lots of us. If a late night cookie or ice cream is part of your bad habit, Consumer Reports explains all those snacks before bed can impact your health. Rosemary Silva lost nearly 75 pounds and says she feels better than she has in 20 years. She kept full by eating healthy meals during the day and replaced nighttime snacks with water. It was hard for me to stop snacking. Mentally, I had to teach myself that no, you know, once you're done with dinner and then you're done. To clean the kitchen and get out of the kitchen, there's no need for you to be in there. Studies suggest nighttime eating can lead to higher cholesterol and blood glucose levels, as well as weight gain. If you find yourself standing in front of the fridge light rather than a night light, Consumer Reports has some simple tips to ease out of evening eating. Our bodies do certain things better at different times of the day. Like in the morning, it does a better job controlling your blood sugar after a meal than it would later in the day. A recent study indicates that people who eat an early morning breakfast had better blood sugar control, which could reduce the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. And getting the majority of your calories during the day should help you stave off nighttime snacking. Shine a light on your nighttime nibbling by keeping a food journal. Keeping a log of what you eat can be an effective tool to help you lose weight and alter behaviors. A lack of sleep has been linked to overeating. Going to bed an hour earlier means you'll have more time to sleep and less time to snack. A higher protein diet has
has been linked to reduced hunger, keep full with small servings of chicken, fish, or legumes with colorful veggies for meals and protein-filled snacks like yogurt or nuts. Lastly, keep your hands busy. Playing cards, folding laundry while you watch TV, or doing a puzzle at night can help keep you from snacking. Ahead on CBS Mornings, rapper Megan Thee Stallion sits down with Gail King for her first TV interview addressing the 2020 shooting allegedly involving rapper Tory Lanez. She accuses Lanez of shooting her in the foot. Here's part of that interview. There was an argument in the car? It, it was an argument because I was ready to go and everybody else wasn't ready to go. Mm -hmm. But that's like normal friend yes. stuff. Like, yeah. we fuss about silly, silly stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. But... I never put my hands on anybody. I never raised my voice too loud. Like, this was one of them times where it was like, it shouldn't have got this crazy. It shouldn't have escalated to right. the that it did. So I get out the car. Tory Lanez has pleaded not guilty to assault weapons charges related to this shooting. That full interview will air right after our show here on CBS. Coming up, a big gas giveaway for drivers in Chicagoland. And ahead in our next half hour, a surprise U.S. trip to Ukraine. Who went? Stay with us. Call for action only on News 3 Now. Cobison Buses, now hiring. Working with Cobison, it's definitely been great because of the flexibility. If you do need time off, they work around you. They, they definitely try to make it a company that's based for you. Visit Cobison.com to apply. It's Chevy Truck Month, and it's time to add the perfect accessories to your new Chevy. Make it bolder. Make it work harder. Make it your own. Find new possibilities. Find new roads. Very well-qualified buyers can get 0% financing on most Chevy pickup trucks. Plus, now during Truck Month, get a $1,000 accessory allowance toward the eligible purchase of a new Chevy truck with accessories. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Oh, we get what we deserve. Giorgio Armani. Enough! This doom and gloom ends now. It's time for a brighter view. Let the sun shine in with two-for-one windows from Feldco. Plus, no interest until 2023. Two-for-one windows from Feldco end Saturday. Hurry. Call now. For quality windows, siding, and doors, call 866. For Feltco. Some numbers are inspiring. Some playful. Some worth celebrating. After an accident, there's one critical number that helps you get your life back by factoring in your needs for today and tomorrow. That's where Habish Habish and Rotier's numbers really add up. With over 90 years of client successes and 13 offices to help you wherever you are. No other personal injury law firm is better suited to get the amount that's right for you. Things were really starting to turn worse for my mom. They basically said, that's all we can do. Right to try is hope when there is no hope. We had done research on the uh, Zysami. Apparently it was still in stage three clinical trials. She couldn't have that medication unless it was for the right to try act in Senator Johnson's work. So this is three days after the treatment, and you can see the difference. You know, without the efforts of Senator Johnson, my mom wouldn't be here today. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. Cobus and Buses, now hiring. My name is Mike Williams. I've been driving school bus off and on for 21 years. Here at our terminal, we're kind of like a family, too. Somebody has an issue with a bus, other people kick in and help and get the job done.
thank Linda for sharing her morning with us. Uh, some lovely color here in the sky or the open water. Don't you love to see something like this, Leah? Oh my gosh, I adore it. Josh <laughs> Bright is the only one who got out on the water out of all of us this weekend. Yeah, I was too busy sleeping and working. Yeah, <laughs> early morning shift on oh, this weekend. Oh, what a shame. That should, that should not happen. I know. You should be able, like, it should be a holiday when it gets to be 81 degrees in April in I Wisconsin. I agree. You know what? We should take it up with management. Give you a free pass as right. a meteorologist in particular. Exactly. I should get a little bit of a comp. Yeah. Like, hey, you don't have to work as hard. I like Absolutely. That. Absolutely. Hey, thanks, Linda, for sharing that. If you want to share your morning, use the hashtag MyNews3Morning, and we'll share our favorites on the air. 624 now. For the third time in two months, Chicago businessman Dr. Willie Wilson has given away a million dollars of gas to ease the pain at the pump. Look at all these uh, Chicagoland motorists. They're lining up for it. This was early on Saturday morning at 7 a.m. Check how far back this line stretches. It just keeps going and going and going. 27 area Chicago, uh, 27 Chicago area uh, service stations took part, offering up $50 worth of gas to each car in line. It's the first big giveaway since Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker introduced a new budget that provides some relief from the state gas tax. 50 bucks in gas? That would make my day. <laughs> Worth it. I was yeah. about to say, would you guys wait in a line that long? For $50 in gas? Yeah. Sure, 50 bucks, 50 it's bucks, man. It's the principle yeah. of the thing, yeah. Yeah, that's also saving me like $40 to, <laughs> to fill up my tank, so. I yeah. mean, yours is probably pretty expensive. Oh, Mine gosh. hit 50 or 60 for the oh, first time the other painful. day. Oh, it just Ooh. hurts. It hurts my wallet every time. Mm, it hurts so bad. A piece of my soul <laughs> dies every time I go to the <laughs> gas pump. Yeah. Uh, oh, you guys, in, in perspective, things could be worse. We could have snow in the forecast. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> She's had to throw that one in there, huh? <laughs> Couldn't help myself. Well, she did not yeah. snowball that in at all. So this is what we're going to be seeing uh, if over the next few days, folks. We are looking at rain and a chance of seeing some snow. Do, it would just be some flurries, not a snow shower, not a snow event. But some late snow flurries are possible from Wednesday nights into our early Thursday morning. But rain and active weather is going into our weekend, oh, guys. Those 60s, ugh, oh, nothing. Nothing warm, nothing nice. <laughs> Ooh, thanks, Julian. Stick around, we'll be right right back. News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Hi, I'm Dr. Aaron Schwab, General Surgeon at Stoughton Health. If you suffer from bothersome or painful spider veins or varicose veins, please join us for our upcoming seminar where you can learn what new procedures may be able to help you. This is the purpose-built Ford F-150. It's a beast with brains. It's got, you know what, skip this video. Go see one at your local Ford dealer. Get here to know F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for yourself. Then get one your way with a custom order that receives priority, plus an extra 1,000 bonus cash and incentive protection, guaranteeing you the best offer now or at delivery, all on a Ford, built for you, by you. Order your 2022 F-150 to lock in a great offer, plus get an extra 1,000 retail order bonus cash. Now you can bring gorgeous, fresh, organic vegetables to your table in just three easy steps. Step one, go to gardenmats.com. Step two, use our garden planner to lay out your entire garden in order. Within days, garden mats are delivered from our factory right to your door. Step three, lay the mats down according to your design and plant. After that, spend your summer trying to keep up with each other, not your weeds. Go to gardenmats.com today. When 140 mile per hour winds come out of nowhere and try to wipe you off the map. When you look up and see sky where your roof used to be. When the power is out and stays out for seven or eight or 10 days. When the phone lines are down and the cell phones have all gone dead. You find out who your friends are because the worst brings out our best. Only your locally owned Cub Cadet dealer has genuine parts, accessories, trained service technicians, and the widest selection of industry-leading Cub Cadet products. We're here for you whenever you need us, with expert service and support to keep your equipment running at peak performance for years to come. Take advantage of exceptional financing offers from your local Cub Cadet dealer today. To find the dealer near you, visit CubCadetDealers.com. 
Brewers couldn't have started anywhere but in Sauk City, Wisconsin. Still today, we are a family restaurant. Here, nearby farms grow the food we eat, smiles are contagious, and everyone is someone's neighbor. It's a place where our love of fresh food is as strong as our love for each other. It's a feeling of welcome you'll notice the moment you stop by. Because where we come from has made us who we are, and for that, we couldn't be more proud. Welcome to Delicious. If you suffer from bothersome spider veins or painful varicose veins, please contact us at Stoughton Health to learn about what new procedures may be able to help you. Stoughton Health, creating excellence together. Right now, a surprise U.S. trip to Ukraine and news for embassy workers in Kyiv. Also, Madison breweries coming together for Ukraine, how they're serving up support. And if you loved this weekend, well, sorry, it's not going to be the same. We'll give you a look at what to expect coming up. Good Monday morning, everybody. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning. I'm Leah Lynchide. I'm telling you, 81 degrees on Saturday, and we're not going to see anything like that for the near future. It's just, it, it's got me a little bummed this morning. It's a little offensive, yeah. Mother Nature. Yeah, I hope you got out and enjoyed it just for a brief moment, at least on Saturday. That was uh, something you're going to want to hold on to for a while. Julian's going to have the rest of the forecast coming up. Uh, no 70s. Anywhere no close. 70s. Rain. No, no 70s. Rain. Possibly some snow. Possibly some snow. Oh, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. We'll let Julian break that news to you in a little bit. All right, we do start this morning with some developing news out of Fond du Lac County. Today, the medical examiner will perform an autopsy on a body found in Lake Winnebago over the weekend. The body was pulled from the western side of the lake yesterday afternoon. The Fond du Lac Sheriff's Office says a deputy did stay in the area of the town of Friendship overnight to investigate. Police say a Columbia County woman died over the weekend in a golf cart crash. Police found the woman unconscious laying in the road. She later died at the hospital. Authorities say a man was driving the cart when she fell off and hit the back of her head on the pavement. That driver was arrested for suspicion of operating while intoxicated. Happening today, there's going to be a new place in downtown Madison to store your bike. Free Wheel Bicycle Company is opening its downtown facility to commuter members this morning. That means anyone will be able to enter the Pinckney Street building and store their bike 24-7. You can learn more about how to become a member on the group's website, madisonbikecenter.org. More local news now. Uh, another Republican officially launching his campaign today to be the next governor. Businessman and veteran Tim Mickles has an event planned to make the big announcement in Brownsville at 430. Mickles joins a crowded primary, which already includes former Lieutenant Governor Rebecca Clayfish, former Marine Kevin Nicholson, and State Representative Tim Rantham. The primary is August 9th. The winner will face Governor Evers in November. Secretary of State Antony Blinken becoming the highest level U.S. diplomat to visit Ukraine since the start of the war three months ago. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky announced the trip Saturday, with Blinken and Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin boarding a plane that same day. The diplomats told Zelensky the U.S. would return its embassy staff to Kyiv. The trip meant to show support as fighting has lessened in the western part of Ukraine. Russia currently focusing its attacks on the eastern border of the country. A independent sovereign Ukraine is going to be around a lot longer than Vladimir Putin. Um, we uh, continue to work to support Ukraine with the assistance that it needs. The White House did not comment on the impromptu trip, but President Biden showing his support as the country enters its third month of fighting. In a tweet, he said President Zelensky and his government remain in power and that the U.S. will continue to support Ukrainians in their fight to defend their homeland. Madison area breweries are raising the bar to support Ukraine. They're responding to an invitation from a Ukrainian brewery. Madison breweries made five beers, giving community members a taste of Ukraine. Pravada Brewery in Lviv invited brewers around the world to replicate their recipes to show support uh, for Ukrainians as they battle the war. Participating brewers included Vintage, Great Dane, and Working Draft. What's intriguing is, see, this is um, a Ukrainian craft brewer. And the, the formulas that we're doing are, are, aren't what you call any obscure, you know, ancient Lithu Lithuanian farm ale or anything like that, or Ukrainian, I should say. It's um, these are our kind of contemporary craft formulas, and this brewery's take on it. I feel the taste of my country, so uh, I feel the taste of beer uh, which uh, was made in my country. 
Money raised from the event will go to Ukrainian relief efforts. The beers will be available at participating breweries. All right, 633 now. Julian Seawright is in with your certified most accurate forecast. Happy Monday, Julian. Happy Monday, guys. And things have changed over the last 48 hours and not for the better. As we are looking at now cloud cover instead of the sunshine that we saw on Saturday. In addition, it's not going to be 81 degrees either. It's 44 as of right now here in Madison. And we're going to be seeing those temperatures really hold steady into the lower and middle 40s throughout the course of the day in here in southern Wisconsin. As you can see, many of us are into those lower 40s, a few areas even into the 30s as we're kicking off our Monday morning. And wind speeds are a bit breezy, especially areas just west of Dane County, as we can see from Lone Rock all the way down to Platteville. We're looking at double digit wind speeds as we're kicking off this morning hour. Now, as we take a look at our surface map, things are going to stay into the cold, windy and breezy range and pretty dry throughout much of the next few days as we're just not going to be looking at much activity to start to roll in as that low pressure moves its way out. So what we're going to see for today as we approach the noon hour might see a small drizzle, but it might not even hit the ground here in Dane County. But on top of that, we're just going to be seeing plenty of cloud cover, winds that will be breezy and 40s throughout our forecast for today. As we head into tonight, it's going to start to clear up in the terms of our sky cover. But as we go into tomorrow morning, expect it to be pretty chilly as we're going to be below freezing and temperatures will warm up into the middle 40s. But again, we're still just not looking at much in terms of a real warm up or even anything in terms of active weather. Still going to hold on to a bit breezy winds as we get into our Tuesday afternoon as well. Wind gusts will be into the middle 20s as we approach our Monday afternoon. Monday nights still going to be within that range as well. So still just on the breezy side throughout the next 24 hours. And in terms of our temperatures, well, we're not going to be seeing much of a change. On average, we're around 61 degrees as our normal for this time of year. And we are not even going to be seeing that until we get into about next week. And on top of that, we do have chances of seeing some precipitation, but that's not going to be into the back end of this week either. But our three things we're going to need to know, aside from this dry trend we're going to be seeing, it's going to be breezy for through about Wednesday, and we're going to see those chillier conditions as well, because we'll start to see a little bit of a warm up. 50s will be back, especially in the upper 50s, but it's not going to be breaking past that until next week, and that's about Wednesday of next week. Aside from that, a bit of active weather as we get into the weekends. We're looking at some rain and even some thunderstorms in our forecast, and can't rule out the possibility of some rain mixing with some light flurries late Wednesday night into early Thursday morning, guys. Now, what's the average temperature for this time of year? It's 60. 61 degrees for the last week of April and for the first week of May it's supposed to be 64. So we're certainly below the average right now. Very and like it's not even a, oh a Jeopardy board question. No, it's we're not even close to it. <laughs> okay, the trend continues. Julian, thank you very much. 636 now the two teens charged in the 2020 death of 11 year old Anissa Scott will be in court this morning. Jerry Lee Ward charged with first degree homicide as party to a crime was allegedly asleep in the car with a gun in his lap when the 11 year old was shot. Lawyers are expected to determine what can be used as evidence during his trial scheduled for June. Andre Brown, also charged for being a party to the crime, will be in court this morning ahead of his July trial. Also happening today, the U.S. Supreme Court will take up the case of the praying football coach. Former Washington State High School coach Joseph Kennedy lost his job after praying with his team on the field in 2015. Justices will weigh the ability of employees to publicly practice their faith. Topping our COVID headlines this morning, Dane County is moving in the wrong direction back up to a medium level of COVID activity. It joins two other counties in the state at that level. One of the metrics the CDC uses to calculate a community's COVID level is the percent of staffed inpatient beds being used by COVID patients, which in Dane County is 1.6%. But local health officials say it's not a cause for major concern. It's not necessarily meant to alarm our communities, but it's it's meant for us to start thinking about what are the things we need to do, um, which we all know um, to reduce transmission. Last week, UW Health and Meritor Hospitals announced plans to loosen visitor restrictions, which St. Mary's did last month. The hospitals say they're not making any immediate changes to those policies. And just released Friday, the CDC identifying the leading causes of death in the U.S. in 2021. Topping the list, heart disease followed by cancer. COVID was the third leading cause of death for the second year in a row. It is 638 as we take a look outside this morning. We're going to keep tracking those rain chances. You have several of them coming up in the forecast and if we'll have any sort of warm up. And a winner in the French presidential election overnight. Why the race was important to the war in Ukraine.
Plus, we're in the 608 with an inside look at the Specialty Care Free Clinic opening up in Madison with their grand opening celebration tomorrow. Coming up. Your John Deere is here. Get yours during Deere season. Right now, get your new X700 series with 1.49% for 48 months. Get a John Deere now and power up with Sloan's. How will you mow? Find out today at Sloan's. When you need a paint to fit your lifestyle, Menards has got you covered. From protecting against this, or covering this, to refinishing this, we have a paint for you. You also need it in this color, or even this color. We can do that. Stop in and talk to one of our paint professionals to make your colors come to life. Pick up a gallon of Revolution Interior Matte Paint for only $34.98 after sale price and 11% rebate. It's Chevy Truck Month, and it's time to add the perfect accessories to your new Chevy. Make it bolder. Make it work harder. Make it your own. Find new possibilities. Find new roads. Very well-qualified buyers can get 0% financing on most Chevy pickup trucks. Plus, now during Truck Month, get a $1,000 accessory allowance toward the eligible purchase of a new Chevy truck with accessories. Chevrolet, the number one selling brand in Wisconsin. Cheers. Cheers. To your big promotion. Thanks. And to your new house. I know. What? I guess you had to move fast in this market. Right? Best thing I did was get a pre-approval from Summit. Once I knew my budget, I only looked at homes I could make a serious offer on. And how's construction going on your place? One month left. Must be stressful. Actually, no. I'm working with Summit, too, and they've been great about answering all my questions and guiding me along. It's been easy. Whether you're building or buying a home, Summit Credit Union is here to help. When cleaning your air ducts, it's important to clean the entire system. And air duct cleaning from Stanley Steamer removes pounds of trapped dirt, dust, and allergens from your home completely. The cleaning improves your home's indoor air quality, keeps your home cleaner longer, and can even improve the efficiency of your HVAC system. We want you to have the cleanest and healthiest indoor air possible. So call for a free inspection today. Stanley Steamer gets your home cleaner. John Deere is here. Get yours during Deere season. Right now, get your new Z500 series with 4.9% for 60 months. Get a John Deere now and power up with Sloan's. How will you mow? Find out today at Sloan's. News 3 Now is taking action to keep you on top of the latest breaking news. Taking action whenever news breaks with a team committed to following developing stories so you'll know all the facts. Taking action for South Central Wisconsin. News 3 Now. Need to know what the traffic is like before you hit the road? Get the Channel 3000 app now, and I'll tell you where the trouble spots are and how to get around them. The Channel 3000 app. Get it now. Powered by News 3 Now. Welcome back. We're in the 608 this morning with an inside look at a local free clinic with a new name and location. Josh Ryder is live in Madison this morning, checking it out for us, giving us a little sneak peek. Hey there, Josh. Hey guys, good morning. Yeah, so they're going to be celebrating their official grand opening tomorrow. Governor Evers is going to be here for that. They've been on location here at their new location right off of Fish Hatchery Road for a few months, but now they're going to celebrate that grand opening. They're formerly known as the BSP Free Clinic on the west side, and here to talk more about it this morning is the clinic manager, Trisha yeah. Levenhagen. Trisha, Hi. thank you so much yeah, for having us morning. in here. Yes. Yes. Beautiful new space that you guys are super pumped to be able to show off to the community. Yes, thank you. We are so happy with it. We have nice, bright sunlight every day, um, new furniture, um, new equipment, um, and very easy to find for our patients, more centrally located. So all in all, it's a great it's a great location for us. You know, new location, but a new name, too. What kind of yeah. went into the thought process for this? Um, our former name, BSP Free Clinic, um, was always hard for people to remember. People didn't really understand what we did or who we were. Um, we'd have to, you know, explain it all the time. So we wanted to change our name so people would have a better understanding of what we do. So um, it, it's pretty self-explanatory now, and um, we're here to serve serve people in the community. So you have 18 different specialties available for folks. I mean, anywhere from eye exam to PT, and this is all volunteer physician based. Right, so you have a lot of folks coming in here to help mm -hmm. provide this care. Mm -hmm. Wonderful people. Um, some of our providers are working at other healthcare facilities and are very busy, but they make the time to come and see our patients. Um, at 
on a volunteer basis. Um, some of them are retired, but being a, a physician and a provider is in their blood and they want to keep going. Um, so yes, the nurses come together to help the patients and we have several volunteer interpreters as well. So you're providing care for the uninsured. You know, talk about the funding process. I mean, it's not easy for these folks to get the care they need, right? Not at all. Not at all. Um, they have to be referred from a primary care provider. A lot of them are very hardworking. Um, they just don't have medical insurance. Um, and, they're, and some of them are low income as well. Um, so they get referred to our clinic and we are completely funded by generous um, individual donations that come in and grants. We do not get any government support um, and, or anything like that. So year to year, we're always just crossing our fingers that that people believe in what we do and they like our mission and they'll continue to donate. So you guys are officially celebrating the grand opening yes. tomorrow. You've been open for tomorrow. a few months, but yep. you guys are just really excited to have this space for the community. Yes, yes. And and it's it's a lovely place for patients to come in and feel welcome and um, they get the time that they need with the providers um, to go through their health their health history and, and get them on a better track to health. You know, when it comes to medical care, there's always a lot of questions. So if people have any questions, they can reach out to you, right? Oh, absolutely. Yep. People can feel free to look on our website, um, give us a call. Um, if, if patients aren't established with a primary care provider, we can help them find that primary care provider and then they can get referred to us so we can continue their care. All right, Trisha, well, thank you so much. Yes. Congratulations thank on you. the new space. I know thank you guys you. will be celebrating big yes. tomorrow afternoon. Yep, we sure will. If you'd like to learn more, you can go up to channel3000.com. Guys, I've got a link with all the information you need to know right there to be able to go to their website as well. Hey, Great. Josh, I've got a question. Oh, I've got this rash <laughs> on my leg. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh my God. You think they could check it out for me? Oh, my goodness. Um, maybe I can find a little uh, you got some something ointment? for you, thank you in here. <laughs> I might have something. Hey, she had some sunscreen available for me and my tomato face this morning, so you never know what you're going to find here. I'll but put you I down am as not a, a doctor, and I'll never be a doctor, Chris Stafford. So. If you weren't awake on your Monday, now you are. <laughs> She's blinded by Chris sure Stafford's white ankle. Josh Breiter, thank, thank you very much. <laughs> Remember to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. Reach out to him on social media or shoot him an email. Okay. <laughs> It's a quarter to seven now. News out of France this morning. President Emmanuel Macron will stay in power and serve a second term in office. He won yesterday's election, becoming the first leader in the country to be re-elected since 2002. Macron beat right-wing candidate Marine Le Pen with about 59% of the vote. It's a sign that Europe is united in its opposition to Russia's war in Ukraine. Le Pen had voiced support for Vladimir Putin in the past and was against sanctions for Russia. But this was also the scene overnight in some cities, people protesting Macron's win. Police in Paris trying to break up a crowd of protesters here. Early po polling results show this year's election had the lowest voter turnout since the late 1960s. April is Donate Life Month, reminding us of the enormous need for organ donation. Last year, more than 41,000 transplants were performed, giving new life to patients. Lives can be saved when eye, tissue, marrow, blood, and organs are donated. The day they told me, I needed a heart transplant was shocking. Um, but at that point, it was about surviving. I was shocked by this number this morning. More than 100,000 people right now are waiting for life-saving organ transplants. So wow. if you'd like to register to be a donor, you can do that at registerme.org. All right, 648. Let's turn it over to Julian Seawright with your certified most accurate forecast. Julian. And we are going to be keeping an eye on the mid part of this week because that's where we're going to start to see a little bit of development of some activity for us because until then it's going to be pretty quiet here in southern Wisconsin. So around late Wednesday night into early Thursday morning, we have a chance of seeing just a sliver of some showers that could develop into mixing with some snow overnight into early Thursday morning. Then as we get into Thursday afternoon, we're looking at some showers here in southern Wisconsin.
Wisconsin and near the state Illinois border. But as we go into the rest of the week, well, Friday, not too much of a chance of seeing some rain, but Saturday and Sunday is where we're looking for our best opportunity to see not only just rain, but even some thunderstorms going into our weekend, which is also going to be bringing us a chance of seeing another healthy amount of some rain. As we have mentioned, uh, it's good that we're looking at more of these rain showers going into our rest of the April because we're right around the corner from May. So we are just a few week, uh, days away from starting to see some of that blooming going in for us. But the temperatures themselves are not going to see much improvement throughout the next six to 10 days. We're still going to be below seasonable here in southern Wisconsin, but we are still looking above average in terms of our precipitation chances here in southern Wisconsin. But as we take a look at what we're going to be seeing, folks, we're still going to be holding on to 50s even going into the weekend. However, once again, try not to have too many plans outdoors on the weekend because we are looking for plenty of showered opportunities and even some thunderstorms from Saturday to Sunday, guys. All right, Julian Seawright, thank you very much. We appreciate it. 649 now, the first all private flight to the International Space Station coming back to Earth after a week of delays due to the weather. And right on time, physical separation confirmed. 8.10 p.m. Central Time, 6.10 p.m. Pacific. Dragon separation confirmed. The Crew Dragon is slowly maneuvering away from the orbital laboratory back into a track that will return the astronaut crew and its cargo safely to Earth this afternoon. Some people in the southeast might hear a sonic boom in the minutes before splashdown today. The four passengers reportedly paid $55 million each. Get this, they don't owe any extra for those extra days in space. Nice little value there. You think there's space lag, like there's jet lag? They get back and everything's all, you're all out of sorts and like the time's really weird, you know? You know, aren't you a Body's couple days adjusted. older after you go into space because the time is different? Well, I don't need that. <laughs> they come back with a couple new wrinkles. <laughs> That's what 55 million just, bucks gets you, folks. Yeah, just, just what we need. 6.50 now, coming up in the morning sprint. The Bucks, one win away from advancing in the NBA Finals. First, if you've got a little one turning three soon, let us know so we can show their picture on TV. We'll be right back. Look Who's 3 is sponsored by Three Bears Resort, indoor water park and conference center in Warrens, Wisconsin. Hi, I'm Dr. Aaron Schwab, general surgeon at Stoughton Health. If you suffer from bothersome or painful spider veins or varicose veins, please join us for our upcoming seminar where you can learn what new procedures may be able to help you. recipe by Lind. Hi, I'm Kylie, and I make fresh, delicious Papa Murphy's pizza. Uh, hi, I'm Zach, and I make the Papa Murphy's pizza. Sure, that's cake and bake. We build it with the freshest ingredients. You bake it fresh in your oven. By you, you mean me, so technically, I make the pizza. Super good pizza, Kylie. Oh, Kylie, so good. At Papa Murphy's, we make great pizza, so you can make the pizza great. Oh, yeah, I make the pizza great. Papa Murphy's, change the way you pizza. When you drive a Honda, the adventures go on and on. Follow your adventures with the rugged power of Honda. The brand owners are calling the most fun to drive. Hurry into a local Honda dealer where new vehicles are arriving daily. I am what I live. My way, the new floral fragrance, Giorgio Armani. What can Sono Bello do for you? How about a new shape? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I just put this dress on that I haven't worn in over 10 years. New confidence. I can see a huge difference. Look at this. New you. I can wear a little black dress. I feel sexy. With Sono Bello, you can remove stubborn body fat permanently in just one visit. Don't wait a moment longer to reveal the new you. 
Schedule your free, no obligation consultation with Sono Bello, America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist, and find out how you can get $250 off. Sono Bello uses TriSculpt Micro Laser Liposuction to remove your diet resistant fat cells permanently for incredible transformations in just one visit. I have one big regret I didn't go sooner. Call 1 888 622 8360 or go to sonobello.com. If you suffer from bothersome spider veins or painful varicose veins, please contact us at Stoughton Health to learn about what new procedures may be able to help you. Stoughton Health, creating excellence together. Trust the First Born Weather Team for your most accurate forecast. 6.53, time for the morning sprint. Today, the medical examiner will perform an autopsy for a body found in Lake Winnebago over the weekend. The man's body was pulled from the western part of the lake yesterday afternoon. The Fond du Lac Sheriff's Office says a deputy stayed in the area of the town of Friendship overnight to investigate. A press release says a person found the body around 4 p.m. Uh, another Republican will be officially launching his campaign today uh, for the next governor. Businessman and veteran Tim Mickles joins a crowded GOP primary, which already includes former Lieutenant Governor Rebecca Clayfish, former Marine Kevin Nicholson, and State Representative Tim Rantham. The group is set for the primary that's supposed to happen on August 9th. The winner will face Governor Evers. Happening today, there's going to be a new place in downtown Madison to store your bike. Free Wheel Bicycle Company is opening its downtown facility to commuter members this morning. That means anybody will be able to pick, uh, enter the Pickney Street building and store their bike 24-7. It was a deadly Saturday night in Milwaukee. Two people were killed, six others hurt in a series of shootings. Officers confirming eight shootings in 10 hours from 3 p.m. Saturday to early Sunday morning. Milwaukee police haven't said if any of the shootings are related. The Milwaukee Bucks just one win away from advancing in the NBA playoffs. They handled the Bulls in both games down in Chicago, outscoring them by 54 total points at the United Center this weekend. Giannis took over yesterday in halftime, finishing with a game-high 32 points and 17 boards. A second Amazon Union vote is set to begin today in New York City. U.S. Senator Bernie Sanders rallied with union members yesterday on Staten Island. Union organizers are hoping to replicate the success they saw earlier this month when another New York warehouse voted to become the first Amazon Union in the U.S. As Russia's war on Ukraine enters its third month, a surprise U.S. visit to Ukraine, President Vladimir Zelensky meeting with U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin in Kyiv yesterday. An advisor to Zelensky confirmed the meeting. Blinken and Austin are the highest ranking U.S. officials to visit the country since the war started. Back stateside, four people, including three children, are dead after an early morning fire outside Philadelphia yesterday. A 38-year-old woman was able to escape the flames by jumping out of a window. She did have to be taken to the hospital. She was treated for burns. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. And wrapping things up for our weather, just know the next few days are going to be dry. We're going to be breezy until Wednesday, and we're going to see chilly temperatures as well, as we're going to be into the 40s until about Thursday, where we'll finally warm up into those 50s and have some good shots of rain, some thunderstorms. However, we are keeping an eye on seeing a little bit of some light flurries carrying in from Wednesday nights into our early Thursday morning. But this weekend is not the weekend to plan anything outdoors, guys. Hey, I put the foot down on snow after April. You have until this weekend, and then it's going to be over. I don't think Mother Nature gives you. Come on! <laughs> Especially now Wisconsin's Mother Nature. <laughs> All right, Julian, nice thank try. you very much. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you back here tomorrow.